Assalamu alaikum. Now we are going to explore the qualities of Fatima. May Allah be pleased with her. Fatima, the daughter of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I will read first this and then we will try to understand the main qualities that Fatima, may Allah be pleased with her, had. Once Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was praying in Kaaba and was in prostration to Allah, Uqba ibn Mu'ayyid, one of the Quraysh disbelievers, came to him and put dry stomach full of, full of compost waste of the camel on Holy Prophet's back. The Prophet did not raise his head from prostration. When Fatima, may Allah be pleased with her, heard this news, she came running, advanced bravely, and removed the waste from Prophet's back. May Allah be pleased with her, and peace be upon our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So, from the first paragraph, we understand that Fatima was a very brave and strong lady. She doesn't fear anyone when defending her father and when defending the, the Islamic principle. So, Fatima was so close to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu as we all know. So, she, she will Stand by her father, she will be on the side of her father all the time. From this story, we understand that she was very powerful, very strong, and doesn't fear to defend the correct principles. I will read now the second paragraph. Whenever Fatima, may Allah be pleased with her, visited her father, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam stood up, took her hand, kissed her, and seated her at his own place. Likewise, when he visited her, she stood up in love and respect for him, took his hand, kissed him, and seated him at her own place. It's a very lovely story. So, we understand from this that Fatima, may Allah be pleased with her, was an obedient, lovely, respectful daughter to her, to her father. Prophet Muhammad وسلم, was treating her the same way. He was so lenient, kind, loving, caring about his daughter, all his daughters. And mainly Fatima, she's very close to him. So she, she is, I mean, showing him the mutual respect and love, kindness and obedience. Here we can understand the main qualities of Fatima, radiallahu anha. So let's summarize here some of the qualities of Fatima radiallahu anha. Fatima was caring. Yeah, she cared about her family. She cares about her father, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. She was courageous. And we understood that from the story when she was defending and removing the waste from the back of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. She is loving, and this is the main quality that Fatima showed us towards her father, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, towards her husband, Ali ibn Abi Talib, and toward her family and the Islamic teaching as well. So she is very loving, and she's an obedient daughter. She obeys her father she respects him 
and she obeys her husband as well. She is patient. We understand this from the story that she once uh, complained to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam uh, about the much work and the heavy uh, duties that she is doing at home. So Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam advised her instead of bringing a maid or a servant to help you, better to say tasbih, to read Quran and to be patient. And she obeys him, she obeyed him in that and she showed the very big patience and she was a very strong lady. She is respectful. Yes, she cares about Prophet Muhammad, she loves him, but mainly she respects him. She is a pious lady. She is a pious lady. This is why Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told her before his death that she will be the queen, she will be the lady of all the ladies in paradise because of her piety, because of her acts of worship, because of all these qualities that she has. And kind, of course, with all these qualities of loving and respect and piety and obedience, she cannot be but a kind person. We all have to follow Fatima, to, to take Fatima as a model, to be like her in all these qualities and to be like Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So Allah will be pleased with us.